Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. So today we will be going to continue the lesson animals in our science subject. So in today's uh, chapter we are going to learn about adaptations for protection. Ok children, so we have already learnt about adaptation to environment, adaptation for food in our previous sessions. Now today we are going to learn about adaptations for protection. So, what do you mean by protection children? Protection in the sense for ma by making ourselves safe from any type of danger. No. So, we for example, uh, if uh, we see any wild animal or if we see any snake or any infectious insect no, near us, what we will do? We will try to run away from that particular place. No, we just want to hide away from that place. Why? Because they are going to harm us. Because they are going to harm us, we want to protect ourselves. We want to save ourselves. No, so same like that, animals also, even we also are animals, like all type of human beings and the different type of animals. So, we are adapted uh, for protection in some kinds. Okay, so how we are going to protect, how the animals are going to protect themselves. So that we are going to learn in this session. So animals show different types of adaptations to protect themselves from danger. Like we have seen like so many animals in the world. No, so different type of animals have different types of adaptations, different type of adaptations. Okay. To protect themselves from danger. Rabbits, deer, fish and mice can move very fast to protect themselves from their enemies. See children, rabbits, deer, fish and mice. So they can move very fast. So they can run very fast, move very fast. Okay, so whereas if I say fish, I cannot say it can run very fast, it can swim very fast, no. So that is why we are telling here that they can move, these animals can move very fast when they see any other animal which is going to harm them. No, when they see, they, that is their enemy, no, which is, ha which is going to harm them becomes their enemy, no. So when they see such type of any animal or when they see their enemies, what they do, they are going to move very fast to protect themselves okay and the thick skin of elephants and hippopotamus helps in protecting them from the hot climate not only from the enemy's children we have to protect even from the harsh climate. so suppose if you are going to stand in the um, uh, in the sun stand in mean under the sun during summers so we'll be affected with the sunstroke no children so that is very dangerous for us so same like that even animals also they cannot be bear the extreme sun and even the extreme uh, cold also that is the heat and also the cold so that is how the thick skin of this elephants and hippopotamus is going to help them from this harsh climate that is the hot climate Clear children? So now what about the insects here? Insects like cockroaches have a hard outer body covering for protection. Cockroaches. No, how, how do they have? So they have uh, got a hard outer body covering. Because of that they are going to protect themselves. And the hard shell of crabs and turtles protects their soft bodies. So crabs and turtles, crabs and turtles have got a very soft and smooth body. Above that body, so they have got a hard shell. Because their body is very soft and smooth, so they will be easily get hurt because of so many factors. Okay, so by the other animals or by the plants, whatever it may be. Because of this, what happens? So this hard shell which is covered on the outer layer of the body, so these crabs and turtles are going to protect themselves by the climate also, even by the other animals also. Clear children? And the sharp spines of 
porcupines protect them from their enemies sharp spines of porcupines so porcupines is one uh, type of animal children so i'll show you here this one porcupine okay in the beginning this is porcupine so these are all the sharp spines thorns is it's like just a thorns okay they are very sharp so it is going to hurt to the other animals if any animal want to touch it or eat it though these spines are going to harm that particular animal so this is how this porcupine is going to protect itself okay children characteristics of animals that help them to mix or merge with their surroundings are called camouflage okay so what is this camouflage children so the characteristics the features of animals so what is that feature they can change their color and shape they can change their color and shape which makes them to mix or merge with the with their surroundings mix or merge so by changing their color and shape what will happen they are going to mix and merge with their surroundings so suppose if you see children here this is a leaf insect so which is on the leaf okay which is on the plant but if you see suddenly so you cannot identify this particular thing as an insect we feel it that it is a leaf no so this type of characteristic that is this type of feature like which is able to change the color change its shape and mix with the their surroundings this type of insects are called as camouflage okay now this not this type of insects so this feature that is which which can mix and merge by changing its color and shape is called as camouflage okay children so most animals escape from their animals or catch their prey by camouflaging themselves so what happens most of the animals they are going to escape from their enemies okay or by uh, catching their prey catching their prey by camouflaging themselves in the sense so because as we uh, just learnt that as this is an insect but as it is an insect and it is mixed with the leaf so we cannot identify this as an insect no and we will leave it there itself and what happens this insect is going to eat the leaves of the plant no so like that it is going to be protected by us by us in the sense by other animals so because of this feature that is camouflage so they are able to protect themselves okay they are going to escape from their enemies and they are going to uh, like uh, they can also catch their prey they can also catch their prey in the sense uh, they have to also eat some other insects as their food no so they mix up with the surrounding color and they will catch their prey prey is nothing but the uh, animals or whatever insects they want to eat as food okay so because they mix up with the surroundings even the other animal cannot identify it as an enemy no so this becomes very easy for this type of uh, animals to catch their prey okay children so this is how this feature is helping these animals i mean from protecting the enemies polar bears have white fur that blends with snow it helps them to hide okay children see polar bears have white fur that blends with snow polar bears where do they live children they live in polar regions and how are the polar regions they are very cool no cold places and it's filled with the snow so polar bears they have got a white fur which just looks like the snow so because of this they are able to hide themselves they are going to mix up with the snow clear children and tigers have black stripes over an orange colored body which helps them to blend with the forest or the grassland so how are the tigers children 
so they have got the black stripes over an orange colored body no because of that what happens they will mix up with the forest land so forest in the sense what do you have what do you have large trees so many trees no so and so you have got so much of grass so because of this orange colored body it is going to mix up with the trees no all the trees are not green all the trees in the sense the leaves are not green some are green some are yellow some are with uh, light orange and all that so because of these colors black strips and orange color what happens it mix up itself with the forest land with the grassland in the sense we cannot notice a tiger if we see it immediately no it just we can just see as it a tree only okay children now chameleons can change the color of their skin to match themselves to their surroundings this is chameleon have you seen children here so right now in this picture you can observe some uh, yellow red blue and all these colors on the skin no here but sometimes what happens it totally turns as green so when it is on the plant no so it can also turn on a green color so it can change its colors according to the surroundings so that it can escape itself from the enemies clear children now so we'll just uh, learn about extinct and endangered animals okay so here extinct and endangered animals so what are extinct animals and what are endangered animals animals such as dodos passenger pigeons caribbean monk seals and tecopa pupfish are some of the species that are no longer found on earth these animals are called extinct animals so what are extinct animals children which are not found on the earth which were living like once upon a time they are not living now so we are not able to found animals such type of animals are called as extinct animals okay children like as you can see here in the pictures so these animals were living on the earth some years some hundred years back so right now we are not able to find these animals hmm? for example dodos passenger pigeons caribbean monk seals and tecopa pup pupfish these are some of the species that no longer found on the earth okay children so these animals are called extinct animals clear so which we are not able to find on the earth now they are called as extinct animals and animals that are unable to adapt to their surroundings die and eventually become extinct okay so animals that are unable to adapt so uh, until now we have learnt about animals so which were able to adapt according to the environment according to the food no they are adapted to the environment and also food but here some animals which were not able to adapt which were not able to live according to the surroundings no so what happens they are going to die and eventually they become extinct so as the animals are dying will not able to find that particular animals no so when they die what happens they cannot take uh, mean give birth to other type of their own kind no so that is why what happens so they are not found and because of this they become extinct extinct is nothing but not able to find millions of years ago huge animals called dinosaurs lived on the earth when it became very cold they were not able to adjust to the cold climate and became extinct children this is old i am sorry this is not cold when they when it became very old what happened they were not able to adjust to the cold climate and became extinct okay
Animals that are unable to adapt to their surroundings die and eventually become extinct. See children, suppose if we are not able to get enough space in the sense comfortable uh, condition to live, then what will happen? We will die. No, if we don't get air, if there is much of heat, if there is much of cold and if we are not able to protect ourselves, Oh, what will happen? We are going to die. No. So here same like that animals also which are not able to adapt. Adapt in the sense what children like which are not having a favorable conditions to live. Okay. So here which are not able to adapt to their surroundings in the sense their surroundings the place where they live. Okay. Which is not convenient. No. So, what is happening? They are going to die and eventually they become extinct. So, extinct is nothing but they are not able to found. No, they are becoming less in number. So, why? Because some animals which are not able to adapt to their surroundings, they are dying and because of that they become extinct. So, here millions of years ago, huge animals called dinosaurs lived on the earth. I hope everybody know about dinosaurs. So, you might have watched this very big animal, giant animal, no, in uh, movies or pictures. So, this is a very huge, large animal. And so, now we are not able to find this animal. So many millions of years ago, so there was this animal living on the earth. Okay, like if we say once upon a time, so dinosaurus was living on the earth. But now, what happened? We are not able to find it. It has become extinct. We are not able to find it. Why? When it became cold, very cold, they were not able to adjust to the cold climate and became extinct. So, dinosaurs were not able to live in the cold climate. So, in winters what will happen? The climate turns very cool. No, so everywhere it is very cool. So, these dinosaurs, they were not able to live in that cool climate. So, they were dying because of that cold climate. And that is how they became extinct. Clear children? And many animals are in danger. This is danger children. D-A-N-G-E-R. Many animals are in danger due to the destruction of forests by human beings for their needs. See, and some other animals are in danger because of the destruction of forests. Destruction of forests in the sense, we are cutting the forests. Cutting the forests in the, in the sense, what do you mean? Like we are cutting the trees of the forests. No, so many wild animals, they live in forests. So when human beings started cutting the trees of the forest, then there was no place for these wild animals to live. No, because they are wild animals, they live in forests and jungles among the trees. No, very large trees. So when there are no trees, so these animals living has become difficult in that place so because of this also they uh, they came under danger why because they are not having place to live so that was a big danger for them okay so human beings why are they cutting the forest they are cutting their forest for their needs no for their needs like what we do so from forest uh, if we cut the wood we will sell it, human beings sell it, so sandal, teak and such type of wood is very much used to make uh, furnitures and all that to construct houses, no, and even some products like honey and all, so we are going to consume it, we will take it in our foods, drink it in our drinks, no, so people started using this forest products for their own benefits, no? so that is why they started cutting the trees. The number of some animals such as tigers, cheetahs, giant pandas and Indian rhinoceros are fast decaying, and they may soon disappear completely from the earth. See children, some of the animals such as tigers, cheetahs, 
giant pandas and indian rhinoceros so they are fast declining they are decreasing so this is the picture of the rhinoceros okay children so these animals are declining are decreasing they are becoming less in number and what happens when they become less in number so slowly so they are going to disappear no they are going to disappear completely from the earth so they they start decreasing by dying and slowly we will not be able to find such animals on the earth so these animals are called endangered animals so endangered animals in the sense still we have these animals on the earth but they are very less in numbers so they are of great danger they i mean why why it is danger so we human beings are causing danger for them so that is why they are called as endangered animals clear children so this was about extinct and endangered animals okay so until now so we have learnt about adaptations of food protection surroundings and all that and also we learnt about extinct and endangered animals clear so let us now practice some exercises from what we have learnt clear children now here is uh, some multiple choose answers which you have to go through and we'll just find the answers for this identify the animal that sleeps throughout the summer months the first question children identify the animal that sleeps throughout the summer months no so which sleeps throughout the summer we have learnt about the winter sleep and summer sleep no what is winter sleep called as hibernation summer sleep is called as estivation no so some animals which sleep throughout the summer here from our choices whether it is a bear snail rabbit or frog so which does uh, sleep throughout the summer so it is snail clear children snail even frog also frog also sleeps in summers clear aquatic animals respire mostly through their aquatic animals like fish all this they respire they breathe mostly through their what skin lungs gills or lungs and skin yes the answer is gills gills children okay identify the parasite that lives on the host's body that lives on the host body so parasite so we have learnt about parasite no so which are going to cause a great loss to the body of the body whose body host body on which they live or in which they live okay so here we are talking about the parasite that lives on the host body that is not in the body on the host body see your children round worm hookworm lice and tapeworm which one is correct yes lice they live in the hair no they live on on our head in the hair okay so whereas round worm hookworm tapeworm are also parasites but they live inside the host body in the host body okay the fourth question here identify the animal that cannot protect itself itself by comma flagging what is it identify the animal that cannot protect itself by comma flagging so what is it chameleon tiger polar bear and hippopotamus and the answer is hippopotamus because it cannot change its color or shape whereas the other animals they can change their color and they get mixed with their surroundings clear children fifth one identify the extinct animal from the following extinct animal extinct animal means children which is not found which is not there right now on the earth whether it is giant panda indian rhinoceros dodo or tiger so a b and d options are there still so they are endangered animals 
but whereas C dodo is not found now on the earth. So that is why C option is the correct answer. Clear children? Now B section fill in the blanks with the correct words. So here they are, they are given as the words we have to choose the correct one. First blank a polar bear has dash to keep it warm. Dash to keep it warm. Bl blubber or flesh. What do you mean by blubber children? The fat under the skin. Okay. Flesh is the flesh of the body. Okay. So what does the polar bear has to keep it warm? That is the blubber. It has got fat under the skin. Because of that it remains warm. Winter sleep is also called hibernation or estivation. Just now we learnt that winter sleep is called hibernation. Okay children, it is called hibernation. Eagle is an example of an dash animal. Third one, eagle is an example of an dash animal, whether aerial or arboreal. What do you mean by aerial children? Aerial is which lives in the air, which can fly. Arboreal is which lives on the trees. Okay, so what type of animal is an eagle? It is an aerial animal. It lives in the air, it can fly. No. Cola bear is dash animal. Fourth question. Cola bear is dash animal. An arboreal or a terrestrial? So what is arboreal? Which lives on the trees. Terrestrial which lives on the land. So, cola bear, it is just like the monkey. No. So, that is why it is an arboreal. This one. Arboreal is the correct option. Clear children? Now, fifth one. Crow is dash a herbivore or an omnivore. Crow. How is it? What type of animal is it? Herbivore. Herbivore means which eats only plant food. Omnivore is which eat both plant and animal food. So, what type of animal is crow? It is an omnivore. It also eats plant food and it also eat insects and all that. That is animals also. So, that is why crow is an omnivore. Clear children? Yes. Now, C section match the following. So, under column A, we have got certain animals and uh, column B, so we are uh, stating it like what type of animal it is. Okay, so we have to identify what type of uh, animal it is and we have to match it. Now, the A option, that is deer. What type of animal is deer children? Deer is a terrestrial animal. Okay, terrestrial animal. Seal. Seal. It lives in water. No. So that is why it is an aquatic animal. Salamander. Salamander. What is it? So salamander is like which lives both in the water and also on the land. So that type of animal is called as amphibian. That is the fourth option. Birds. Birds live in air. In the sense they can fly. So, that way we can call them as arboreal. Third option. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Aerial, aer aerial option. That is, uh, sorry children. So, they, so birds, what, what do they do? They live in the air. That is why aerial. Okay. Cola bear. Cola bear lives on trees. No. So, that is why it is arboreal animal. Clear children? So, whereas deer is a terrestrial animal, seal is an aquatic animal, salamander is an amphibian, amphibian, birds are aerial animals and cola bear are arboreal animals. Clear? So, this is how we had the match the following. Okay? We will go to the next exercise now. State whether the following statements are true or false. 
okay true or false first one is all terrestrial animals undergo estivation all terrestrial animals undergo estivation what do you mean by estivation children that is summer sleep does all the animals sleep in summer no so that is wrong so this is false this statement is false second one the thick fur of the yak helps in protecting it from the cold weather the thick fur of the yak helps in protecting it from the cold weather is it true yes this is true insects such as butterflies have thin papery wings that help them to fly okay third one ma insects such as butterflies have thin papery wings that helps them to fly yes this is true fourth one amphibians breathe through lungs as well as moist skin so what are amphibians children which live in water no so which live in water and also on the land so when they are in the water they breathe through their skin when they are on the land they breathe through their lungs so that is why this is true bear is an example of herbivore 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 in the sense only plant eating animal is it true children no this is omnivore omnivore because it eats both the plant and also animal food so that is why this is a false un- statement clear children so we'll move on to the next one here give two examples for each of the following so arboreal animals arboreal animals in the sense what which live on the trees so any two examples okay so it is koala bear and also monkeys no monkeys are also arboreal animals animals that undergo hibernation hibernation is nothing but winter sleep no so polar bear and yak so polar bear and turtle that is turtle okay children so these they sleep in the winters to get protected from the cold as they don't get food okay children and also they don't get food in these days so examples for carnivores 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 in the sense animal eating animals okay animal eating uh, uh, animals that is like tiger lion and all these okay wild animals are carnivores scavengers scavengers is which live by eating dead and decay animals that is they live on eating dead animals and decayed animals okay so scavengers like example hyena okay vulture vulture this is okay and now fifth one parasites that live inside the host body inside the host body outside the host body on the body we learnt that lice no lice is going to live on the body inside the host body like uh, round worm okay tape worm so this okay children clear so this is how so you have to identify the animals okay so i am going to stop here for today's session and we'll be practicing more such type of questions in the uh, coming uh, slides in the coming lessons okay children so and take care i'll take leave here take care until then goodbye thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates